Hey everybody, Kevin here. Thank you guys for joining me on Kevin's Way Works. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the process to fix a leaking valve cover on a Kohler Courage SV725 engine. This process is going to be the same for various other Kohler engines that use the same style stamped steel valve cover. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do this Kevin's way. All right, let's go ahead and get this head off. This is a Torx and it is a T30. So let's go ahead and get that off. First thing you should do is break it free. You can use your impact driver if you want, or you can just break it free and remove them by hand. I'll go ahead and break them free. And we'll go ahead and use the impact just to whiz them off a little quicker. And there we go. So now we have to get this cover off. And to do that, we have to loosen up the RTV. You might be able to tap the edges with a piece of wood. I don't like to damage this surface because if you do, you can have problems getting it to seal properly. So um, you gotta be careful if you try to pry behind here, you can scratch the aluminum that way also. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get this off. I have a thin putty knife and I also brought my panel removal tool. And I'm just gonna work at this edge here gently to try to loosen it up. Because once you've got it loose, you can usually just pry it off the rest of the way pretty easily. It's just getting that Initial bit broken free. That's the pain. So you see we've got that partially opened up there. Oh, and don't forget, there is oil in here. So make sure you have something under it to catch the oil. I'm going to put this bucket under here and I'm going to get a rag and we'll put it right here just to catch any oil that starts to come out. Got a little paper towels here. Might need something a little more substantial than that, but we're going to go with that. I'm going to work over down the top here. And then work down the side here. And that got the bulk of it. So now let's fold this forward. We'll do it pretty quickly so we don't drip as much oil. So there's that. Oop, be careful of the hole here. <laughs> I just poured a few drops of oil onto the ground. So that is done. We'll take our paper towel, just soak up any other oil that's sitting up in here. What I'm gonna do first is take the scraper and get all this RTV off. Got my trusty scraper, and so just be careful. Stay flush with the surface, and don't scrape your aluminum. Should come off pretty easily. If you need to, you can pull backwards, like so. Sometimes it's easier to pull it backwards.
trying to get that little chunk out of there. That one cleaned up really nicely. As you can see. I'm just gonna take an old razor blade. I'm gonna scrape all this glob of material off. I have a paper towel on there just to keep it from getting all scratched up. And then I'm just gonna scrape all the material off. So let's take a little square of our scotch Brite sanding pad, a little bit of brake parts cleaner. Let's go ahead and remove this material. As you can see, it comes off real easily. Little more brake parts cleaner. And there it is. Take your paper towel, get all the junk out of it. Flush the rest of it out with brake parts cleaner. Clean it off. There you go. She is cleaned off and ready to go. So we need to take our red 3M scotch Bright pad. This one's getting a little beat up, but we got a little spot right here that's still good. Be careful with this. This is sharp. These edges are pretty sharp. So you don't want to Go cutting your fingers up. And that is clean. I'm going to take my high temp RTV silicone. And what you want to do is put about a sixteenth of an inch bead around the edge here, just right around the inside edge, like so. And I don't have the I don't have the nozzle for it, so I'm just going to do the best I can with just dabbing it on here. Seems to work okay. Should be pretty good. Doesn't have to be much. Just double check to make sure you have a little bead little raised bead around there. If you got a little too much somewhere, 
really shouldn't be an issue as long as you don't have a gigantic glob of it on there. And there we go. Take a paper towel, little brake parts cleaner on it, clean up your mating surface one last time. Just like so. Take your valve cover, get yourself a screw, and go ahead and gently set it on there, or lining up the holes. And then just take your screw, start a screw by hand, start another screw, and then start your other screws. So I'm just going to hand start these. And these get torqued to 55 inch pounds. And the sequence is one, two, three, four. And then it wants you to come back and do one again for the fifth torque. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. So come back to number one for number five. So grab yourself a T30, and I'm just gonna run these down by hand. Those run down by hand just so we don't have to mess with the torque wrench trying to do it. Torque wrench set to 55 inch pounds. And we start down in the bottom. One, diagonal, two, Three, four, and back to number one for five. Okay, that's it. Those are all torque to spec. All right, everybody, so that is how you do it. That is how you fix a leaking valve cover on a Kohler Courage engine. You can also use that process for any other reason for having to remove the valve cover. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I hope it was informative. And if it was, check out my other videos because I have several other videos related to this Kohler Courage engine. So thank you guys for watching. Kevin's Way Works. Uh -oh.